KT Squad, welcome back. Today we're going to be continuing episode 2 of The Walking Dead. Last episode was pretty wild, a lot of shit happened. If y'all haven't watched it, go watch it, come back, watch this one. But let's get right into it. If you guys did see the last video, let me know how you guys liked it down in the comments below. Let's see how much wilder it gets from here. What the fuck is going on here, buddy? Oh, for sure. We just hopping into it. All right. Damn it. What'd they get this time? Uh, looks like a rabbit. Damn. <sighs> well, that's another meal lost. <sighs> I still can't believe how the fuck does a zombie like keep up with a fucking months. rabbit? I don't understand that. It seemed like so much at the time. Maybe you shouldn't have opened the door. Like yeah, I know they can be fast, yeah, but come on, a rabbit got to be faster, right? Yeah, except then I'd probably be food by now. Trust me, I have no regrets. Yeah, rabbit's hardly a meal, Mark, but I'd take it. We're all hungry. No kidding. When I accidentally grabbed for Carly's rations the other night, I thought she was gonna take off my hand. We're all on edge. Just cut us some slack. Yeah, you're right. I wish I knew for sure how much food we have left. We'll manage. We'll manage. Maybe. You know, some to. people aren't too happy about the way Lily's handling rations. Lily knows it's important to keep the adults fed and functioning. Sometimes that means someone's got to miss a meal. You think Kenny's having any more luck than we are out here? I sure hope so. Yeah, between the lack of food and Kenny and Lily fighting all the time, things are getting pretty tense back at the motor. I mean, I understand why they fight. You know, Kenny's been talking about ass. taking off if he can get that RV running. He's got a wife and son to look out for. Yeah. And they're safest in a big group. Going out on his own will get them all killed. Can't blame him, though. Did you hear Larry going off on him last night? What's the old guy's deal, anyway? Seems like he's got a problem with you in particular. Larry's just uh, looking out for his daughter. Hey, I know Lily. She can take care of herself. He needs to take that energy and put it towards finding us some more food. Well, and I know Lily happen. thinks he's getting weaker, but the guy's all muscle. Yeah. He's a walking pile driver. I know I wouldn't want to be stuck in a room with him. And didn't he punch you in the face one time? Uh, knock me flat. Oh my ass. He's lying to take a punch, B. You got this. You got this. Big shit. Mm, shoot it. Take this shot. We need anything we can get at this point. Don't you miss? Shit, was that Kenny? I don't know. Come on. Come on, my guy. How you miss a bird sitting still? Got one job. Jesus Christ. Oh shit, no, no, please don't kill us. We just want to help our teacher, we'll leave, I swear. Lee, you guys okay? Get, get it off, get it off, God damn it! Get, get it off me. Travis, maybe they can help. These might be the same guys that raided our camp and we barely got away from that. What guys? Why the fuck is there a bear trap Where out here? Camp? Who raided your camp? I, I don't know, guys with guns. Please, we won't bother you, I swear. 
believe this is fucked up. We've gotta help. Please. Ben, shut up. My dad was special forces. I know what I'm doing. Just see if you can get him out. After that, you can leave us or whatever. I don't care. Please. Was he bitten? Bitten? No, I swear. Hurry, please, hurry. Oh, oh, oh. oh fuck. <laughs> Lee, this trap has been altered. There's no release latch. Oh, no. We gotta cut home your leg never off. Leave. Please! Get me out of this! We gotta cut your oh, leg get off. Get the boys dog. back! Oh, Kenny, fuck. keep those walkers off of me! Why is this happening to us? Stop, stop, stop! Please! Do something. Please! Get me out of this! This is bad. This is so bad. Try to cut the chain! Ah! Oh Jesus, those things are gonna be here soon! Oh, no, 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 you have to! Fuck! I gotta cut your leg off the dog. Oh God, I'm gonna have to cut you out. Damn it, no, no, just no, off his fucking leg! Try the trap again! We don't have time for that. I'm no, sorry, I'm but we have to go, now! Oh, oh fuck, oh Jesus Christ, oh fuck, dude. You're gonna pass out, but at least you'll be alive, my guy. Lee, I can't keep him back forever. I understand, Kenny. Oh, oh God, there's so many of them. One more time. I'm just wasting ammo now. We gotta go. You'll pass out, you'll bleed. Oh, God. Shit, it'll be all right. He... No, he passed out. Grab him and let's go. This shit is fucked. Behind you! Travis! Come on, come on, we gotta move! My nigga Ryan, you have good space. Of course you fucking trip. Come on, my guy. Literally could have got away. I don't understand like why niggas have to fall. Like I don't get. It. Like you know how to walk. Just because you're scared don't mean you forget. <sighs> Man. Some nice little um, reinforcements now. She got that marksman rifle from, from Fortnite. Get the gates open! We've got wounded! Shit! What the hell are they doing? Come on! Come oh on! Oh my god! What happened? Oh, what's what's going on? I don't have time to explain. Lee, are you okay? Get him into the yeah, truck. I'll see what I can do. Cat, okay? can you fix him? Jesus, Ken. Lee. I, I don't know. Lee! What the hell? You can't just be bringing new people here. What are you thinking? Hey, you want to calm down for a fucking hey, minute? No, I don't. I want to know why you thought bringing more mouths to feed was a good idea. He would have died if we left him. So what? We are not responsible for every struggling survivor we come across. We have to focus on our group, right here, right now. Well, hang on. 
We haven't even talked to these people yet. Maybe they can be helpful. Come on, Lily. These are people. People trying to survive just like us. We've got to stick together to survive. The only reason you're here is because you had food. Enough for all of us. But that food is almost gone. We've got maybe a week's worth left. And I don't suppose you guys are carrying any groceries, are you? Um, no. Fine, you guys fight it out then. <sighs> Welcome to the family, kid. Sure. Come over here and see what I drew. But, what? No, I... Just come on, okay? You know, you like to think you're the leader of this little group, but we can make our own goddamn decisions. This isn't your own personal dictatorship. Oh, Stop come that. on, you're being dramatic. Nah. Everything always turns into a power struggle between you two. I'm not gonna be a part of that. Hey, I didn't ask to lead this group. Everyone was happy to have me distributing the food when there was enough to go around, but now that it's running out, suddenly I'm a goddamn Nazi. It doesn't matter who's in charge. Those people are here now. I guess we just have to decide what happens no, next. No, Lee, it does matter. One person can't be in charge of everything. I mean, you know, it might feel safe for you to sit on the fence, but sooner or later, you're gonna have to decide whose side you're on. I don't see any of you stepping up to make the hard decisions. My girl's got more balls than all of you combined. Why are you even talking? You haven't Why said you shit. Go help Mark with the you wall. haven't done shit. You think this sweater. is easy Ugly, for nigga. me? Everyone's starting to hate me because I'm the one that rations the food. But nobody else wants to. You know what? I'm not doing it tonight. You do it. There's today's food rations, but there's not enough for everyone. Good luck. Big fucking bet. You gonna have four items for ten hungry people? Y'all motherfuckers ain't eating. I'm sorry. Kiss first. We can we can live we can go a couple we can go a day without some food, y'all. Greedy ass niggas. We got some uh we got some cheese and crackers. I see. I right, go this one. How you doing, Clementine? Okay. Where's your hat? I don't know. Can you help me find it? Of course, Clem. Sure. When did you lose it? I had it a couple days ago. I promise. If I find it, I'll let you know. Thank you. Okay, Clem. No problem, Clem. I've got to take care of some things. Why don't you go back to playing with Duck for a while? Okay. I got some food for y'all. Here, Clem. You need something to eat. Mm. She needs she need some nutritional shit. I love apples. Thank you. Are there more? No, honey. Aww. That was a Sorry, nice one. Oh, um... Enjoy it. You deserve it. Hey, Duck. How about a little food? Disney! <laughs> Yo, I feel like this nigga like jerky. I don't know why, but Here. I feel like this nigga like jerky. Yeah! Oh man, I'm so hungry! Alright, so he eating. Um, she ain't getting no damn food. When he wake up, he low key needs some food. Can, can I give him food? Wake up. She need food because she working yeah, on this nigga leg. Eat something. <sighs> Why don't you give it to Duck? I'm a little busy with your mess right now. Is he I, gonna be okay? I, I don't already know. gave Duck. Can food. you give me a hand real quick? I got you. Sure. What do you need? Just apply some pressure here while I try to close this up. You know, I thought I was starting to get used to this, sewing up people's injuries. But I mean, cuts and bruises are one thing, but Lee, this man has no leg. I did the right thing. 
Yeah, I know you did. The right thing is just scary sometimes, I guess. Oh, yeah. Well, you've done all you can, Lee. Thanks for the help. Go ahead and check in on the others. I need a little space here anyway. So you don't want food? Okay. Can I get me food? Is that an option? Open your mouth, nigga. Oh, open. Okay. okay. You don't want no food. I gotta find Clem's heart. Will you hold the damn board steady? I'm trying. I, I didn't realize I was getting this weak already. What do you want? A handout? Uh, I got 60 cents in my pocket. If you'll shut up and quit being such a pansy. I thought he was gonna say something else. Here, my nigga. You need some food, bro. Here. Eat something. Thanks, Lee. Need any help with the wall? Nope. Actually, we could use your axe. Do you mind if we take it? Ah! Yeah, give us that thing for a bit. Mm, I'm gonna give it to Mark. Here, Mark, this Fuck is you, Larry. Thanks. Fuck you, Larry. Hey, I'm the one doing all the work over here. You didn't think to give me the axe? Fuck no! Come on, Larry. Cut Lee some slack. He knows you're just out to protect Lily. He told me so. Just like he's trying to protect Clementine. He... Oh... I just need some food. Going this long without a proper meal make anybody cranky. Well, you finna stay cranky, nigga. Oh, I can keep it for myself? Uh, some of these people have gone longer than me without food. That's They're the ones that need it. Uh... Where the fuck is Kenny at? Word's getting out that you want to leave the motor in. That ain't no secret, Lee. It's probably our best bet. Look, you've been good to me and my family. You saved Duck from those monsters. And you stood up to Larry at the drugstore. I won't forget that. You and Clem are welcome to come with us. Thanks, bro. The coast does sound like a smart idea. Maybe that is the best thing. I know that it is. I'm taking my family. I feel like Kenny will be good without food. Ah, Larry. Oh, I fucking hate you, dog. But yeah. you're annoying, and I want you to shut up. Here, Larry. Lily would want you to keep your strength up. That girl needs to quit worrying about me so much. That was a fucking tough decision. I gotta find. Not such an easy job, is it? It's okay. I know you're still watching out for me. Of course. I don't envy you. I don't know how you have the strength to do this every day. I don't have a choice. Lee. Kenny, I know I ran out of food before. Hey, it was a tough choice. But you took care of the kids. That's what a real man does. I'm serious about that offer to come with us. You've more than earned a ride on the RV with me. Thanks, bro. Still. I guess some people aren't going to be happy with your choices. Ken, Lee, come here, please. For sure. He didn't make it, did he? He lost too much blood. God damn it. I'm getting sick of this shit. Ken, come back. There's nothing... Let him go, Kaja. But... He just needs time. It's been a rough morning. Uh, that man you brought, happened. I tried, but he was never going to survive. Well, at least he's not our problem anymore. What about the other kid? <laughs> oh, shit!
Oh, shit, nigga. Can I? Can I? Wait, wait. What the fuck? Bitch. Nigga. Shit, it's stuck. Dude, your ass. You had one job, bro. You had one job, bro. I'm getting away. I'm getting away. I'm getting away. Dude. 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 You have the axe, bro. Thank you. You okay? How you fuck yeah. up that bad, Beaks? Why'd you bring him here in the first place, asshole? Dad, calm down. You're gonna get us all killed. You said he wasn't bitten. What? We asked you point blank, was he bitten, and you said no. He wasn't. Well, your not bitten friend here came back to life and tried to kill my wife. What? Wait, you all don't know? What the hell are you talking about? It's not the bite that does it. You come back no matter how you die. If you don't destroy the brain, that's just what happens. It's gonna happen to all of us. Infected? Everyone? I I guess so. I don't know. I all I know is that I've seen people turn who I know were never bitten. When I first saw it happen, we were all hiding out in a gym and everybody thought we were finally safe. But one of the girls, Jenny Pitcher, I think, I guess she couldn't take it. She took some pills. A lot of them. Someone went in the girls' room the next morning and God. Shit. Back off! Whoa, what the fuck? Whoa, lady, relax. Me and my brother, we we just want to know if y'all can help us out. I said back off, Carly. Are you armed? Yeah, for protection. Dead could be anywhere. But uh, I think you got the upper hand here. Why do you need gas? Our place is protected by an electric fence. Generators provide the electricity. Our generators run on gas. Look, we own a dairy farm a few miles up the road. If y'all be willing to lower your guns, we, we can talk about some kind of trade. Oh. How y'all doing on food? We got plenty at the dairy. Fuck, we need food, dude. Lee, why don't you and Mark check the place out? See if it's legit. I'm going with you. I got your back if anything seems fishy. But, so, uh, what are y'all thinking? We'll go You've got dairy. a deal. We need food, bro. We'll bring some gas to your dairy. In exchange, you give us some food to bring back. We'll see how it goes from there. Sounds fair. A couple gallons should power one of our generators for a while. Oh, man. So, this dairy. If I remember really something, this is the one thing I remember sure from do. watching. Like, we lost most oh, of the cattle, well, but first we still have lots of milk, I, butter, like, and cheese these stocked eat people. And I with think. the vegetables we grow, we got plenty of food. Thank you, other niggas that eat people. It's nice to get away from that motel for a while. This Lily Kenny thing is starting to get ridiculous. Personally, I'd be happier if you started to take charge more. You think they'd want me for a leader? Sure. Everybody looks up to you. Well... Not everyone thinks I'm so trustworthy. Because of your past. Does anyone else know? Larry knows. Great. That can't be easy. Clementine knows. She was there when we were talking in the drugstore and asked me about it. I couldn't lie to her. What exactly did happen with the senator? It was an accident. I mean, I, I pretty much knew about the affair. Sometimes I wonder if I should talk to the group about it. You don't have to. Whatever happened before things went to hell doesn't matter anymore. Not sure everyone would see it that way. Yeah. Maybe you're right. Listen, over the years I've reported on some pretty messed up shit. I've seen situations like yours a hundred times. It doesn't have to make you a bad man. I, uh, really appreciate that. I mean, thank God Lee showed up when he did. Right, Lee? Yeah, why don't you tell us a little more about yourself, Lee? I'm good, Where are you bitch. from? I'm good. 
I don't like y'all. For whatever reason, I don't like y'all. Um, I grew up in Macon. Right here in the heart of Georgia. That's what I like reason. to hear. I know the reason. Y'all seem pretty people. settled in at that motor inn. Uh, who's running things over there? Lily. Runs a pretty tight ship. Her and her dad are ex-military. Yeah, she knows her shit, but she needs to know when to back off sometimes. How many people you got over there anyway? Enough. Enough to defend ourselves. Well, that's good. It's getting dangerous out there. Well, you guys know. Well, we'd love to get you all out to the dairy. Like I said, we got plenty the dude of food, on a me quite like frankly, weird. we could always know. use an like extra face. helping hand. In the summers, I used to help out on a goat farm. Yeah, that's great. Everything helps. Mama's been running the dairy for well, as long as I can remember, but uh, now it's. You getting... think you're going to cut me out of this? What? Shit, get down. No one's trying to cut you out of anything. You and Gary are always pulling this shit. And it's. Who? Those look like the people who raided my camp. Who are they? Fuck you. Fucking you knew we were hungry, and are. you guys were keeping it all to yourself. Oh, no. There's yeah, you know what? More. We ate it all. What are you gonna fucking do about it? Don't worry, Danny and I got you covered if something happens, but let's just wait this out. I hope they move on. Fuck you! <laughs> Holy shit. Fuck you! Fuck you! Jesus! Asshole. The world out here has gone to shit. Come on, let's get to the dairy where it's safe. Man, yeah, niggas out here are wild in these streets. Here it is, St. John Family Dairy. <laughs> Y'all can see how we kept five, this place five, so five, safe. Five, zero, one, nine, nine. The fence keeps them out? <laughs> you betcha. They fry like bugs in a zapper. We're pushing 4,000 boats through that thing with generators and amps. I'm going to assume that's a lot. Oh yeah, sounds like a lot. Um... Ever have any accidents? Nah. It's safer here than out there. This place looks untouched. You never know the rest of the world is in ruins. It's worth protecting. Hence all the juice. I thought I saw y'all with company coming down the drive. Guys, this is our mama. I'm Brenda St. John, and welcome to the St. John Dairy. This here's uh, Lee. He's from Macon. A couple of our old farmhands were from Macon. They grow them good there. They got a few more friends staying at the old motel. Oh my goodness, that place is pretty vulnerable. Have you got someone with survival experience to lead your group? Yes, we do. We all work together. Plus, we've got plenty of people with military experience. Well, that's good to hear. That motel ain't the safest place. Hold on, I, I thought you said someone else was running things. Oh yeah, um, I thought she was asking about survival tactics. Well, it don't matter. You're here now. We'll make sure you're safe and comfortable. Thanks for having us. We brought some gasoline on good faith. We're all incredibly hungry. These are for y'all. Baked fresh this morning. Amazing. Can't get stuff like that anymore. Not without a cow for milk and butter, that's for sure. That's right. Hopefully Maybell will make it through this bout of whatever she's got and be with us for a good long while. Your cow is sick? What she... We have a vet. We could bring her here. We can help you folks out. A vet? Oh my! Our prayers have been answered! Maybe our whole group could come. For the day. Well, how about this? Y'all go get your veterinary friend and I'll prepare some dinner. A big feast for all you hungry souls. It'll be nice to have some folks to help out around here again. Danny, why don't you come help me out in the kitchen? Oh, man. Why don't so I head back with the food and round up everyone back. for the trip over here? Might want to take someone with you. Remember, those roads can be dangerous. I can handle myself. 
Mm, take this. I believe you. Why don't you go ahead and take Ben along anyway? Take care yeah. of yourself, Lee. See you in a while. But... Mark, Lee, why don't you take a look around? Once you get settled in, I could use some help securing the perimeter. Is there a problem? Sometimes the dead get tangled up in the fence before they fry and end up knocking over a post. It'd be a big help if you could walk the perimeter. You can learn a little something about our fence. I'm gonna go top off the generators before they run dry. Come get me when you're ready. You betcha. This place is incredible. It's got food. And that fence? Oh man, that fence. If we play our cards right, this might turn out to be a place we can stay. So how do you want to play this? Before we can think about first. bringing our whole group here to stay, we need to figure out if this place is as safe as they're telling us. Right. Obviously, they think it's safe. But is it safe enough for the kids? I noticed a broken swing over there. Not a big deal, but maybe there's other things not working that we just can't see yet. And checking the fence perimeter? Sounds like a decent way to get a good look at their defenses. All right. I'll keep my eyes open, and you find out what you can from Andy. Good bet. Sound like a plan. <laughs> Too bad it's broken. I'll bet Clementine and Duck would have loved something like this to play on. Kids used to like that old swing even more than the tour sometimes. <laughs> I'll bet. This can get fixed up. Mind if I fix it? Sure, that'd be great. Mama sure does appreciate y'all helping out. Looks like it just needs a new board for the seat and some rope. Make it safe for Clem and Duck. And let the St. John's know we can pull our weight around here. Where do I get wood from and this rope, my friend? This dairy won a lot of ribbons in its day, huh? This place was my daddy's life. Meant everything to him. You know, when he first bought this place, it was a single-story house. Is that right? After us kids was born, he insisted on adding a second floor. He said they had to have room for as many babies as they could have. <laughs> Mama, she was done after damn. My folks stopped after two as well. Then one day, the world changed. Two now this place is all we have left of daddy. To That's why we take such good care of it, and why we want to share it with good folks like yourselves. Found some rope. This rope is perfect for the swing. Anything over here? No? I don't care about that. Well, hi there, Lee. What can I do for you, sweetie? Can I help you with anything around the house? I think with Danny's help, I've got things pretty well squared away in the kitchen. But feel free to check with Andy. He's got a lot of weight on his shoulders these days, so I'm sure he'd love any help he can get. All right. Um. How many rooms does this house have? Rooms? Why do you ask? It looks custom built. Nice of you to notice. My husband put a lot of work into this old house. Well, he did a fantastic job. I believe in making a house a home. Your family's done an amazing job of keeping this place up. Well, now aren't you sweet? Thank you, Lee. The boys and I have tried to adapt as best we can, but we still keep some of our old routines to help remind us of better times. I wonder what they do all day, to be honest, besides, like, working. What happened to the rest of your staff? Oh, we've had our share of tragedy here, just like everyone else, I'm sure. Some of our staff took off to find their family as soon as they heard the news. 
The few that stuck around, well, we lost most of them the first night those things showed up here. It was a tough night. When will dinner be ready? it would be a while still, but it'd be worth it. Trust me. What's so? up? How's your family been holding up since, uh, you know? All my boys have been my saving grace. They both left their jobs and came home to help out after the attack started happening. I think it was hardest on Andy. Dan was always more of a mama's boy, but don't tell him I said that. <laughs> well, if anything comes up that I can help with, feel free to let me know. Well, Lee, I sure appreciate it. No problem. I feel like I'm right about my little hunch from, from the last time I watched the, the gameplay. I can't remember if it's them. I feel like it is, because they just seem off and weird. This is too big right now, but if I can find something to cut it down to size, this might make a good seat for the swing. Nigga, there's a saw right next to your face. <laughs> hmm. Mind if I use one of these boards? Already making some repairs, huh? I like a guy who takes some initiative. Yeah, go right ahead. <laughs> I love how this nigga just put a long ass piece of wood in his back pocket. Looks like the fence runs around the entire property, not just the house. Yep, can't take any chances when it comes to safety. Hi. Hi. Well, I'm glad you guys decided to help us out. I noticed back at the motel that you folks are pretty well armed. Uh, been stockpiling, huh? Something like that. Mm. Yeah, if you need some extra people to protect the dairy, you can count on us. Well, hopefully it'll never come to that, but thanks. Uh... We can't be the first people you've invited up to the dairy. Well, no, we've made similar deals with other folks, uh, trading for gas and food, but ultimately they moved on, looking for the people they lost contact with. An electric fence is enough to keep out walkers? Walkers? <laughs> is that what you call them? <laughs> That's good. Uh, the old one wouldn't have, but Mac, he was our foreman, he figured out how to amp it up with the generators. We used to sit out here some nights and watch the sons of bitches sizzle and pop when they got too close. Oh, this thing to entertainment these days, I guess. These generators are enough to power the whole dairy? We got lots, and we gotta keep trading for fuel as much as we can, but they all work together to do the trick. Uh, like us. Mark and I can help you with that perimeter now. Oh, good. The fence will stop a walker in about three or four seconds, but gets overloaded if we leave the husks out there. You know, Mark and I can clear the fence ourselves if you want to stay here and finish up with the generators. Well, that'd be great. I'll turn off the northwest section, and uh, if you guys could strip them off and look for any weak points, well, that'd be a big help. Sounds no easy enough. Stay attentive. You never know. I'm gonna get to know the place for a minute. Let's see where this takes us. Alright, so this is what's going to happen. We're going to end the video there. Thank y'all for watching. Thank y'all for keeping up with the series. I appreciate every last one of you that support my channel. Um, share, like, comment, subscribe. Comment down below. Let me know how I'm doing. And I will see you guys in the next video. I love y'all. Peace.